Hello, welcome back to Blender CC Live Noding. In this episode, I'm gonna try to use all the basic um, basic theories that we have learned, basic concepts of noding in SpreadShop and animation nodes. And I'll try to do like uh, create something really fast. It's actually something like this. It's just like a an animations, and I will do like a little bit of modeling, and you know, just the extrusion of the objects. And I will do a little bit of animations and a little bit of setup. Everything is done using nodes. I will not be touching um, Blender edit mode, and I will do everything just by using nodes. So yeah, let's get started from scratch. Okay, I'll delete everything. Go to compositing. Go to stretch up. I will be using rounded box. And I will be outputting the mesh object right away. So by default, rounded object looks like that. Maybe I'll reduce the subdivision. Just uh, make it really simple like that. And I will apply extrude, extrude separate faces. And by default, we should be getting something like this. Um, I'm thinking maybe this is gonna be like a like a modeling tool, right? I'll name it modeling. Save it. This is an SV team. So we have our model ready. Um, this is gonna be the kind of like a the animation bit. I will use it as a shape key. But here I will be resetting the whole thing and I will also kind of duplicate this, kind of like baking it while this guy I'll just hide it. Oops. Um, they seem to be connected somehow. Let me quickly check. So alpha, alpha 1. I'll save it as base. This guy, I'll save it as shape one. Okay, so they're safe. Now I'll reset the position of this guy, select this, and then join, join as shapes. Now, after I join as shapes, we know that we're gonna have this uh, shape key that we can use. We can hide this guy, so we don't need this uh, now the next thing we want to do is just like uh, to duplicate these guys. I can do it manually, you know, like a command uh, Shift D and then Shift R to repeat it. And each one of them will have uh, this shape key that we can animate. But I would like to do to use um, animation nodes real quick. So animation nodes is gonna be like for instancing. I really like the instancing nodes in animation nodes. So object instancer. I'm gonna turn off this uh, always, and I'm gonna grab this object. I'll make like a ten instance, and I'll make sure copy full objects and deep copy. By doing that, we're gonna have um, a couple of objects. And each one of them has this uh, shape key ready. I'll save the blend once again. So with the master, this is always my habit. With the master shape, I tend to just hide it, and I will not render it. I will, I will not select it anymore. But uh, we're gonna work with the base object only. This is being generated um, on the fly using animation nodes. Now we're gonna jump back to SpreadShop, make and make the, this uh, setup. Uh, we're gonna reposition. So number three is doing the layout. I'm gonna select all these objects being generated by animation nodes and using objects objects in get selection. We want to be able to control this shape key. This we got, we want to animate this shape key value. So we check what is controlling the shape key. Look at the data it's here. Shape keys, key blocks, shape one, value. So that's 
that's all we, we need that information so we just need to use mk object id set mk2 plug in the objects and then here we just you know we just need to type in shape keys the next one we need is uh, key blocks the name of the shape and pipe the value into this guy and this output we just type it in and type in value I think so if I'm not wrong this should be it let me quickly check object ID had exception of values check with stethoscope object has no attribute shape keys Ah, I know. I need to type in data shape keys. Okay, that seems to be working. Okay, now it's, everything is working. Cool. Um, so with our objects, we want to arrange it slightly. Uh, using set mk2 and by default we have this delta location and having that we can really just use any vector value to arrange our objects select our objects get selections and arrange it because we have 10 objects here there you go that's a that's the start now we can animate this guy See, suddenly we have control over each and every object, which is pretty cool. Um, the next thing we want to do is uh, maybe just use a time, just a frame, and control each one of them. Um, I'm going to use a remap, actually. So our time will go from zero to the end of... Uh, the scene <clears throat> so we plug the current frame into the value and maybe okay we want the durations of every animations to be 30 frames and we want to have a little bit of uh, easing so we can do this and use maybe back back is out so it's kind of shooting out and back to normal The last thing we want to do is to use another map range here and make this zero between zero and one. Plug into the value and we have our animations. If we want to stagger it, we simply add an offset here. There you go. That's our animations. Everything is procedural, and it's very, um, and it's very easy. You see, I tried this many, many times. This uh, the whole uh, noting. Um, I after quite sometimes you become very fluent to it, so it's become part of your workflow. If you want to set up like something that's even like uh, super complex, uh, we can always go back, uh, for example, to animation notes and maybe it says, okay, now make. 25 objects and back to 
stretch up and then we just change the layout real quick so instead of line mk2 just use a plane it's gonna be 5 by 5 plug the vertices there and control the position you should have uh, 25 objects by now animation nodes uh, we have 25 objects ah apparently they are not selectable back to search up grab our objects and there you go we have 25 objects now the only thing we probably want to do is the the sorting and we already learned we can sort it using uh, things like wrist pencil so that's probably gonna be the next one um, but other than that uh, this is pretty much a lot of concepts that we have learned until today and I recommend you to give this a try and maybe on top of this if you want a challenge is like to use wrist pencil to control how the animation is being ordered so yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully this is useful for you. Let me know if you have any question in the comment section below. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.